All right, he's, he puts out the cigarette real fast. Be like, they told me I couldn't smoke, but hey, hey, stood up. Nope, waiting on you, folks. Stood up. Something I wanted to ask. Oh my god, he's so cool. About your mother. <gasps> Her name's a Fauna, right? Maybe. So what? That sounds like a yes to me. I called it the second I saw you. Boy, am I ever glad I sent up smoke. Well, you knew her? Tell me, how's she doing? Good? Oh. No. She's dead. <clears throat> you know, the whole reason I joined Shinra was to become a pilot. But I wound up His as a gopher for some funny. lazy grease monkeys. Had me running around HQ fixing lights and whatnot. One time, though, I came across a pretty young thing with a little girl in her arms. That was you, wasn't it? He flew them out? Probably. You were knee high to a town oh. That was what? Called the smogger, I'd wager. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. What? Why? I'm uh, just trying to do right by you. <laughs> Flying us around will be more than fun. Aww. Thanks. No, join our party. Then again, if you're just dying to help, you could take us to the salsa for free. Free? It's fine. We'll pay. on me when you want to head to the saucer just give me a holler he's the flight guy that's so sweet oh so he so he flew them out oh my god that's cool i like that yeah he oh, he's he's 32 and air it's 23 like nine years so if she was how old was she in the in the flashback? Fifteen years, what like twelve? So he'd have been like twenty. No, he'd have to be younger if he said he was as tall as a smogger. She was knee high. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were knee high to a tonberry or whatever. <laughs> well, she. Depends how young- I can't remember how young she was when she met, like, Elmire and stuff in the flashback. She was, no, she was like 8 or something, right? She was like really young, so then he would have been like 16 or something. Yeah. Def definitely a teen, because if you said he- like, he, he said he was shorter too, so you definitely would have to have been like a teenager or something. Oh, that's- he piloted them that long ago and he remembers? He remembers. That's suspicious. Why do you remember so well, huh? Thank you, Lieutenant Dan, for another gift sub! Bear's 35, yeah. Oh. Thanks, Era. Thank you for existing and giving us a free flight. Alright, Sid, we're ready. Can, uh, can, can my friend- can my friend Vincent come with us? Hey, good to go. I mean, I'm, I'm waiting on a guy, so if we could wait a couple minutes. You think he's following us right now? Let's get a move on then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All accounted for except for one guy. Hmm? I hear I hear footsteps. Huh. An eight? Oh! <laughs> ah! He gets to hang out with us. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. 
I have a history with him. Unfinished business. Hmm? He bothering you? Want me to give no. him the boot? Try to screw us over, and you're a dead man. Please, <laughs> take a seat. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, he does the pose. We're in, baby. Do you think you can manage? Oh my God, him? we have everyone's here. All order for most pilots. It's all crowned for. I'm so Lucky happy. You, I most pilots. Look at the tiny Bronco logo. Oh my God. I like how so I like how Vincent just like joins. Catchy got through to him. Yes! Oh my god. I love hey, this part. I was wondering, could you tell me a little more about my mom? Uh, sure. I was greener than Mako when I met a fallen. She took my heart for a spin. Got you, Sid. <laughs> Look at them already hey. being pal. What happened to your mother? Did she so get happy. sick? Doctors always said she had a weak constitution, and trying to escape didn't help. I think she just pushed herself too hard, all so that I could be free. I'm sorry. At least she went out on her own terms. Did she? Even if she didn't, you should honor her memory by enjoying the life she gave you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you can move the plane a bit, but like the path hey, is. Hey, don't know if y'all heard. Wu Tai's finally made a move Ooh. against Shinra. Might be war. And as Midgar's been bombed to hell and back, Shinra's gotta be on the ropes. War isn't worth celebrating. Ever. Exactly. This will affect everyone for the worse. It's like when Sephiroth shows up. Nobody wins. Uh, on a related note, if war is officially declared, it will leave me long before borders start closing. So, if you've got somewhere to be, you might want to get a wee shuffle on. <gasps> what the? Sid? Hey, Sid? I heard you the first time. Just sit tight. Everything's under control. Are we getting this swimmable <laughs> tiny Bronco right now? No! Just sit He's a professional. This beauty's maintained by an expert and piloted by a professional. Y'all are in good hands. <laughs> Who shot that? Like, he makes a couple of guesses. Hey, stop shooting him! Look, Vince. Sure, Vincent's like, what have I joined? <laughs> Gave up. We landed. That's our new vessel, everyone. Any landing you can swim away from. <laughs> Points and laugh. They're so cute already. It's like it's like they've been adventuring together this whole time. Eat <laughs> shit, little girl. <laughs> Real mature, Sid. Damn, Cloud. Oh, that's a shot. Where's Vincent? Is he inside? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is so this is so good. Vincent probably bailed. He's like, these guys are idiots. They're not gonna help me find Sephiroth. Or help me atone. Oh, this is cool. Look at them actually like helping each other out. I love this so much. Okay, let's start her up. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, but 
The wings are still broken. And what of it? Only one man has mastered the land. Convincing air man spreading. Sea. You're looking at it. You got that? Okay, so. <laughs> so you can think of me as the captain of your ship. Strap on in and we'll punch through the chop. Aye aye. <laughs> Only the women are agreeable. Straight through the ravine and on to Costa del Sol. And after that, we <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We'll be there before you know it. Let's set a course for Costa del Sol, sir. We're going to Costa del Sol first? Oh, Vincent's that? gonna melt. Speed ahead. Yo! The Bronco! Oh my god! <laughs> Filling us in on the keystone before we arrive? Gladly. About 20 years back, one of my more eccentric colleagues convinced the company to build a museum for his antiques. The reliquary, they called it. Pretty cool, eh? Now, according to company. I don't think Vincent's gonna have beachwear. Oh, no. Wait a second. I thought you said it was at the gold saucer. Aye, I'm getting to that. Bit of threat. Here was it. Oh, right. So, the museum turned out to be a total flop. Closed as soon as it opened. But somewhere between cutting the ribbon and boarding up the windows, the keystone vanished into the air. So it's not at the saucer? Do you know where it went? No, but I know a man who went. The former Fury. Dio. Vincent knows Dio? How do you know that name? Let's just say. I've been around a while. He has. Wait. Does. Has Vincent ever shown signs of knowing Dio? That's new, right? He's been around for a while, yes. That's... To everyone Everyone knows every, everyone. I was trying to think if you ever mentioned Dio as like a Turk or something, but... Oh my god, Vincent knows Dio? And even Sid's just like, how do you know that name? Everyone knows everyone. Maybe we'll get former Turk lore. Oh my god, former Vincent Turk lore, please. Oh, the saucer. This is so incredible. This game's amazing. <laughs> Vincent, technically 57. He's been asleep for like 30 years. One Piece world building. No kidding. Kairos, this is amazing. How do you know that name? Whoa, look at all this that we could actually salute to. How does the map look? Looks pretty great. Oh, I love being able to see, like, the actual, like, river now. It was definitely foggy for a reason. Now, like, actually seeing the continents. Everyone's on the Bronco! I know, I, I had to... As soon as Vincent sat down, it was just like, oh my god, everyone's here. Like, it hit me. You probably still across the ocean the whole way. Or like, I mean, it's definitely on rails. Like, there's like a path to take, but still. This is so cool. Yo, we can go to... Oh my god. The Dio's Vincent Zex? Oh my goodness. That sounds so scandalous. This is the best game ever. Getting the Bronco is so exciting. As soon as I hit the wing, I'm like, I don't know what, sh what shot them up. But I'm glad it did, because now we're, now we're just cruising. I like how shit happens like the second point Vincent hey, joined. Did I hear right? You used to work with Shinra. Uh-oh. Still do on occasion. The boys Not got another one. Uses. That's gonna be a problem. You see, we don't take kindly to friends of the company. And I don't take kindly to that tone of yours. Yeah, Seta. If he tries to lord his power over me, he's gonna wish he didn't. <laughs> That's what's appealing about the skies. And I'm all to myself. Rats can have their race in the gutter. Maybe it was a mechanical failure. It looked like we got shot, but I you're probably right. Wild blue yonder dearly. All right, I have to go slow so I can actually not miss their dialogue.
We're going back to Costa. I'm not ready. I don't think Vincent is not leaving the tiny Bronco. We're not going to be like, hey, Vincent, we're going to the beach. He's like, I just first of all, I just met you people. Second of all, no. He's going to be like, I'm good here. We don't take too kindly. <laughs> He's not, no. Sin it's I think like Vincent and Sid are like just going to stay by the tiny Bronco for the rest of the game story. Or, or I could see them doing some other thing where like Sid wants to stay and maintain the tiny Bronco, right? And Vincent might be like, I have other business to attend to. And they'll just like meet up at the end. That's so cool though. His, his reason for- all filled up by now. And that his hotel's found its, uh, sea lights. Fat chance. Kid probably got grifted again and is crying himself to sleep every night. Yeah, I want to see Sid and Vincent bond. Like, they'll have their own little bonding circles that, like, no one else can see. <laughs> he's a hostage now, and that's okay with us. That's... He, he's definitely regretting joining. He's like, I joined to go after Sephiroth, not go to the beach. Oh, it's so pretty, though. How far out can we go? Whoa! Head for... No, it's yelling at me! I'll fight. Fight through it. Fight through it! Oh, it's pushing me back! It's- Oh no, it's pushing me! I can't go anymore. I tried. Whoa, Sid! Alright, everybody is gonna come out of the tiny Bronco, right? Everyone? <gasps> I've been so okay, guys so far. Look at her. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Cruises? I thought it was Bronco Airlines. Not after his wings got clipped. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we really appreciate you ferrying us around. You're most welcome. Hey. All are headed to the saucer, ain't you? I might could tag along, take in the splendor. What do you think? Of course. Girl always knows just what to say. Am I right? <laughs> He's shoving people. Shall we? <laughs> Wait a sec. Where's Vincent? There he goes. Up there. Vincent! Why are you so close? Stop. Another loner. As if one wasn't enough of a pain in my ass. Yeah, one's more than enough. <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> There's just the second cloud now. Aww. Cl Cloud's realization. Now the tiny Bronco's able to cross the Meridian Ocean. You can fast travel to any location from the map. Yes! I can fast travel anywhere, which means I can go back to fight that Cameron guy in Queen's Blood. If only they're all playable. Like, who else did Cloud think they meant? Or, like, what did he mean? Like, Barret? He learns kind of sort of demigosh. I've been playing for like 70 some hours. New quest available? Thus, I see his declaration of war against Shinra was the. Wait! This- I predicted this! As soon as you get the tiny Bronco, you're gonna be pelted with side quests. I wrote that. Because this is when the game's gonna truly open up, so I predicted all the side quests. And if there's just straight up- I- I thought- I thought that dream was gonna be wrong because when you go to each region, you already have, like, the set of side quests. I'd be like, okay, that's done with this region. But I ended up being right! Yes! Yeah, dumping side quests near the end. Well, we got everyone! Before you have the source, calm down. No, I won't! No, I, I am gonna do a bunch of side quests. However... Um... Not right now. I'm gonna look at Vincent. The Cersei's Declaration of War against Shinra, blah, blah, blah. Check the notice board. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Yes! Attraction at Gold Saucer. I've undergone a series of renovations as the minigames available in other regions! Try visiting familiar locations, seeing what new challenges await. So that some mini games will not be updated until certain conditions are met. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Hi, Vincent! Can I talk to him? I can't even talk to him! Oh my god, he's so sassy. Let 
If that's that, Cloud, get out of here. Okay. He's like, oh, he's got idle animations! He's looking at his claw. Good. Uh huh? The two loners. <laughs> oh, I can't move my camera anymore. Oh, he looks so cool. I like his top. He is all leather now. Yeah, he's he's gonna hate this place. All that leather. I like your cape. Get out of here, Cloud. Look at his cape, like, in the breeze. <laughs> hey, loner best friends. Oh, it's all like weathered. Oh my god, I like your cape. I love how his cape looks like shit, by the way. Like it's all frayed everywhere. Like look at the ends there. I love it. But the all leather outfit. <sighs> take him to Johnny, relax. I'm gonna just grab his hand and take him to Johnny. I like your cape. I like how it looks like shit, is what I'm trying to say. What is He's gonna be dizzy, oh my god. He's gonna love Gold Saucer. He's so cool. <laughs> Perpetually windswept. I know, like, is there even any wind here? Like, maybe, but... He hasn't seen the sun in decades and really gets taken to the beach. <laughs> Good thing he has the hair to block him. I'm surprised he's not more in the shade. Like, I'm surprised he's not here. He's loving it. He's just like, holy shit, is this sun? I wish I could talk to him, though. This is so cute, though, so that means they're just gonna, like, gonna wait. Wait, what is that icon? They're just waiting for us. That means they're not, they're not standing next to each other chatting. Like, I wish it was Vincent and Sid, like, next to each other all the time. Dude, I cannot wait to- I have to wait like three to four years, roughly, to have you in my party par He is never leaving my party. I don't care if he sucks. I don't care if he's super difficult to play. He's in my party. Hey, Vincent. <laughs> Sweet water, right? You want to get on? <laughs> All right, well, you can have it if you think about it later. I have to go talk to Sid. Hey, buddy. I just want to talk. You ready to jet? No. I just wanted to talk. Rate my segue. What is this? This looks like a battle. I'm not ready, though. A map? Oh, no way. Hey, Cloud, let me see that. He sneezed. This reeks of sea salt. And not the fresh kind either. This thing smells ancient. Really? Yeah. Gramps told me about it once. Long ago, when most folks spent their lives at sea, a war broke out between some pirates. Pirates? I mean, how do you think they came up with Pirate's Rampage? It's based on a true story. How about it? Wanna hear? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Gather round and hearken to my tale. Before steel birds soared through the skies and tracks wove across the land, wooden ships were the primary means of getting, This is gonna end up being another minigame. One such ship was crewed not by men, but monsters, aliens, and high seas. From the fires of war, these pirates emerged victorious, leaving I like the mustache on the Marlboro. Oceans now his sole dominion. Their captain was declared the pirate. The pirate king, Luffy? As for the king's treasure, ere his passing, he took his most prized possession, quartered it, and sealed those pieces away, along with his four about... finest mates. To forever talking about Gold Roger. Whatever he hid, this map should point us to the locations in which its fragments rest. The spell he used to seal them away. Cold D, Marlboro. Well. Yeah, I'm in. King's treasure is now ours to seek. 
before ferocious fiends yes before emperors doubtless open up quite a before emperors lead me to the for one can't wait one piece oh he got so excited at the end there Take to the open ocean with the tiny Bronco and follow the treasure map to recover the long lost relics of the Pirate King. This is so looking for One Piece. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Poneglyphs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even, that's that's actually accurate. Once you have a sum, because they, they talked about like the four kings are, are blocking it, so I'm like, oh, fight them. This game even has a One Piece reference. This is not the best game ever. The One Piece is real and it's been in Final Fantasy VII the whole time. Once you have assembled all four pieces, you can transmute a powerful accessory once used by his fabled swashbuckler. <gasps> I hope it's a straw hat. <laughs> that would be so cool. It better be a straw hat. I'm definitely gonna do that. Not right now though. What is this? Oh, that's still that. We can check in on Johnny. Johnny's treasure trove. So is the whole point of being here just, oh my god, hi, Vincent, oh my god. I don't want to leave. All right, we're gonna fast travel to Gold Saucer. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Cut his own hair. You know, you like got really stressed one night and buzzed it off. It looks like shit. Just the front part, though. He has a mullet. <gasps> Vincent. Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. <laughs> He's such a dad. Vincent. Uh, Cloud. You got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh -huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, I. but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Benson, oh my god, where'd he go? Probably so lost. Hopefully I can find him. Didn't miss him joining us. It was amazing! Yeah, we're back! Dude, we, okay, our first two locations. So, we just recruited Vincent. The first place... First, the, the plane that we took him on crashed. Okay, and then we took him to a, a beach resort, and then we took him to an amusement park. I'm pretty sh like we three for three for reasons why he should abandon us. He's like these people are not serious. They are not gonna leave me to suffer. On. I can't atone with these people. Yo, but Dio though, that's so. I really like that he connects, that they actually can interject into the conversation. Like, just casually mentioning, like, he knows Dio. I've been around a long time. How cool. Uh, <laughs> they want Vincent to do a song number like Tifa you inherited. I freaking wish. Yes, I know he told us about the gold saucer, but it's an amusement park. It's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't make any jokes without somebody being like, oh, it's actually. <laughs> like, all day. <laughs> That's probably how you beat Vincent, so he has a reason to take you seriously. Oh, tr probably. He's just like, I can't. They took me to a desert amusement park, but I can't refuse them because they kicked my ass. He's like, we really just, like, humbled him. My jokes are illegal. Can't joke about nothing. About telling anyone taking it serious. Yeah, I love the Sid um, at a depth as well. Like with him knowing Ifalna. That's cool. cool. Hello, and welcome to Park Central. 
God, I love just being here. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> Find Dio. Um, he's probably at Battle Square, right? Oh, there's a mar marker. Is that actually where he is? Battle Square. He is in Battle Square. Okay. That's all I want to know, because I the cursor is throwing me off. But I'm like, he's definitely. Like I remember him in the Battle Square. I should have just went, but the freaking it's ever the cursors screw me over every time. Wait, it was this, am I going the right way? <laughs> so I go into Battle Square. Cursor leads to nothing. I know. Why did I even put it there? At that point, don't even have a cursor. Just be like, find Dio. And, and honestly, be less confusing. Giving you a cursor that just says find Dio. It's that or no cursors thing. Find Dio. I want a Dio t-shirt. Ah. Oh, Aerith tier. You're not even following. That's so weird. Check it out, Cloud. Can you believe this? Corneo? The Dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgard and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Did we see him before Wu Tai? There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Let's. Yeah, that's weird. That whole cursor business is silly. They definitely shouldn't have one. Or have like one of those like really wide circles that are like somewhere in this area Dio is. I don't know, find him. Probably because the whole idea is like they want you to re explore. Whoa! Found him! Greetings, Mr. Dyer. You have to find him. Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Did he get Oh, is this after he got fucked up by Rude? Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, oh. you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery <laughs> that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Got him. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. Yes. Etc. are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> is he gonna not believe her, like, Bugenhagen with Tifa? Who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo land. Oh no! We cannot have that. Sit out. Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? Hi, Greg. It's a challenge from the dark. Sign and Give the people what they want. Take it. No, this is upsetting me. Dia will never let them win. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was lamenting my lot in life when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. Oh my god, do you think Vince is gonna watch? What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone, right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. Me and Eric, just like old times. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. 
I'll draw go ahead and tell the others that. Yes, I want to see Vincent at the hotel. Hi, Jean. I know I got Vincent finally. And the date before, maybe. Brock Corneo was in this game, so that poster spoiled me. Yeah, I, I know he like normally shows up next in Wu Tai. I forgot he wasn't in this. Oh, that's already the cursor. State of place build you? Yeah, I just forgot about that. Stupid state of play. Why are you terrified? What date I'll get? Why terrified? Strikes me as the guy who'd give you the keystone even if you lost. Maybe. But we gotta we we gotta earn it. Man, I love this place. I can't wait to actually do sides or uh, more of the mini games, but that's later. Versus haunted hotel. Do you think Vince is gonna like it? Dragon's Dogma? Eventually. Love the balloons! This is where you start exploring the other stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do it after it. After Gold Saw. So I'll, I'll be like, it'll take me days to like actually start to progress after this. I, do you think Vincent just went straight for the hotel? Sora's getting hot. I know, but it's gonna it's definitely gonna be hard to like not want to progress. But I also just like don't want it to end. <laughs> and and I have Vincent now, and I know that he's like chilling on the tiny tiny Bronco or just like hanging out. That's that's good enough for me. Good enough because he can't join the party, so he can at least chill. Oh my god, I'm so happy he's here. <laughs> he was... <laughs> the meeting scene was so good. Hey Vincent! What do you think of the hotel so far? Oh wait, I'm all the way back here. That's it. This is my Majin's game. I've loved Vincent since I was like eight years old. Or seven. I don't remember how long how old I was when I first played seven. He's one of my first crushes ever. <laughs> My first fic fictional crushes. And it was literally just because I thought he was a vampire. I was like this little kid and I thought he looked cool and now I still think he looks cool. Vincent? Is he... Is he taken? Never liked anything in entire life as be like Vincent. <laughs> kind of jealous. Just try to... Maybe you'll like encounter something like deep in your like childhood something will be uncovered again and then you'll just have that connection just wanted to see if he was here yo chadley what's wrong whoa why are you here no i don't want to see you here yin yang <gasps> Stuff Tonberry, if only it was real. I really want to say he, he did ruin the mood earlier, but he's back to being cool. <laughs> Following my footsteps of simpage. The yin yang and other friends. I don't want them to be my friends. What's wrong, Charlie? I have nowhere to sit. Hello there, Cloud. Are you enjoying? Four years ago, the park underwent. Even today, the gold saucer continues to expand. Hello there, Cloud. Here, I have a exposition dump or a history on the location we're at. Oh, hey, Earth. Not now. I'm kind of busy here. She's busy. Wait, if if she's here, does that mean everyone else is? Oh, 
I have to find my friends. They're probably not gonna be in the hotel. I want to find where they are. I just, I just want to see what Vincent's doing. Don't, don't tell me where he is, but can you find him in Gold Saucer right now? Vincent's here before. If you come here before the battle square, what he is? Where did he go? Wait, can you talk to him? Does he say anything? I'll load the game right now. Where is he now? He does. What does he say? He just says Dio's not here. That sounds so cool. I wish I could hear him say it. I mean, I can't because the last time I saved was... There. <laughs> He's looking at a statue and he says it's a nice design. Really? Yeah, Square- that's not Jumbo Tonberry enough. Yeah, that's not big enough. It's not three feet tall. Come on, Square Enix, step up. Does he actually say it's a nice design? Man, I'm actually thinking- No, because if I- If I reload the checkpoint, it's just gonna take me back to the Coliseum. I know, I'm not gonna do it. Wait, what's checkpoint? Here, what, 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 is, what is the checkpoint? I can skip cutscenes if that's what it takes. Okay, so we've already- we've already decided. So where is he now then? Does anyone know where he is? The locations for your bad square? Yeah, I mean, I got that already. But does anyone know where he is now? <laughs> Okay, no one knows. We'll find him. He's He's gotta be pretty easy to find, right? Alright, my next playthrough I'll go- See, I did want to explore a bit before I went to the Coliseum. But I was also kind of like annoyed at the cursor and it was like throwing me out off the game. I bet you he's by... I bet he's looking at the snowboard thing. Okay. I don't think he's by the chocobo stuff. Hey, where's the fast travel thing? I don't know, I'll just run. We'll fast travel with the chocobo. Bum, 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 bum. I like to imagine one of your party members is at every square. Is Varith at the haunted thing? I don't see anyone here though. You can beat this to one of the chocobos. Now hold your hand out near their feet. Remember, if we're free to fun, there'll be a great support. No one's here. Party members at each square, I thought you'd have talked to them first, but I guess not. Yeah, I wish you could. Damn. Well, because if Eric's at the hotel, like, you'd still believe that one's at each square. But I don't see anyone here. At the hotel in the rooms? But you have to check in at the counter. Like, we haven't done that yet. They're not here. What if it's just Aerith? Did I even talk to her? She's just like, not now, busy. have blips on the map. <laughs> I 
Vincent. Maybe they are in their hotel room. You know, Vincent, if you knew... If, if you know Dio, wouldn't you check the battle square? Here, what is this? Maybe he's here. Maybe he's at the Wonderment Square. Yeah, he probably likes games. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so what are you busy with, Aerith? Has anyone seen Vincent? They're like, who the fuck is Vincent? There's this woman yelling around asking for some man named Vincent. Aw, he's not by the snowboard machine. What if he was on a speeder bike? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the hotel. Freaking couldn't. I missed one Vincent line. My life's over. I may have I may be 100%ing the game, but only 99%ed Vincent's dialogue. <laughs> He's in my heart. Is that good enough? Even the graveyard. What if he is? Well, maybe we, we gotta look harder. Whoa, ghost! Okay, he's not here. He's not here. Vincent? When I do my new game plus hard game mode, we'll listen to it. We'll do it. Alright, Cloud. Ring a ding. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event of the Coliseum tomorrow. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationships with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with a teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. The warning. You'd better rest up before your big day. My big night. Yes, until tomorrow. And then that that triggers the Tifa date. Oh. Got air. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. See blips. <laughs> now there's blips? Wait, what? They showed up late? Did I miss more blips? Why am I always missing blips? Hmm. What about... <sighs> Come on, think. They're upstairs behind the counter. Damn it. Why is Aerith being weird? Oh yeah, I just doing the thing. You alright there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. If the knock on the door ends up being Vincent, oh my god. You snooper. They say curiosity kills the cat. Are we doing a good old transition before Tifa time? Oh. Yeah, oh my gosh, so he's just actually just dreaming in and out of that. That's nuts. Oh. 
Okay, well, back to Zach. Maybe it's a dream? Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Zach. He's so sweet. Yeah, I'm so happy. He's in the game. Alright, Cloud. Wash up, buddy. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? She's in this a way. coma. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. What? Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <gasps> Please tell me. Oh. When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Marlene. Cloud tries to save her, but <gasps> he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really she's happy. She's just spoiling. But... But... She dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene. Are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? Yeah, that's no, what she told her. I saw it. That's wild. Oh, okay. I did. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a bit I heavy to you. show With a little kid that. On, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. Oh my god. <laughs> and gray. Uh -huh. This is insane. Of all the people. It's Rose. <laughs> Zach, did you see? They're blooming. Oh, nice. Because Aerith. Would you look at that? Asleep. These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. <sighs> hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. I need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... Hojo? We're gonna to talk to Hojo? <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two. Zach thinks it's a good idea to talk to Hojo. <laughs> Without you, I'd be a wreck. Aww. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please.
please don't let her leave. Good call. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. I won't. Well, damn, now, like, everyone knows. I, so Marlene's been on this whole time, but that's such an insane thing to tell a little child. But it's not just like she saw, like, a death happen. Like, it's, it's like she just absorbed that entire understanding. Like, that's kind of a heavy thing to teach a kid. But now, like, Zach kind of knows. Like, he didn't see it, but he knows. He's cute, not very bright. It's very true. He really is a puppy. Talk to Dr. Nick. <laughs> Zach proving his son alone with Tara. He is so freaking sweet. I love I love Zach so much and them too are really endearing. It's also a heavy thing to throw in right before the gold saucer date. Right. Like I'm supposed to be thinking about this while I'm looking at FIFA. Anyway, yeah, we're straight up. So if she wakes up here. Maybe maybe she like her sleeping here is keeping um well i don't know she's she has, she has to be like keeping the other world together or something or some crap and then i not purposeful to let marlene find out i think she did though cuz like Aerith, Aerith seemed entirely in control there she was like calming her down and like touching her it's like what calmed her so i think i think it was intentional but yeah especially having the date with Aerith if you were uh so if she wakes up here that means maybe she just like can't communicate through the live stream to protect like whatever other worlds and so like other Aerith will die maybe i don't know so this 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 marley knows isn't this just Cloud's dream? We don't know. We're just, like we're theorizing. This isn't. This, this is definitely not a dream. I. It's it's basically like whatever these worlds are, they're connected through the live stream because Aerith could feel like Zach touching her arm or her hand, even if she couldn't figure exactly out what it was. I think this is definitely Prime Marlene. Yeah, Prime Marlene, Prime Elmira. But in this real, real, weird world where Prime Biggs is here, and Zach. I mean, I don't know. It honestly could be the first world. Like, this whole, like, rift in the sky is just throwing me off, though, and the, the terrier. Yeah, and then in Remake, there's recognition that they passed. Yeah, it's it, they're definitely connected via livestream. And that's how Cloud can see through his other Cloud's eyes. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the Big's night. trying to be short-haired Vincent. A favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care. Steer clear of six. Biggs. No, I didn't. Uh oh, That's Biggs. That's not what I meant. Gotta find Elmira. Uh oh. Well, never mind that plan. You're Zach Benno and Crivel Heart. I'm glad you turned around on him. Oh. Well, Zach's dealing with some drama. We get to have the night of our life. Too motivational. You just encouraged him to continue being an eco terrorist. <gasps> hey, uh, <clears throat> didn't see you there. Oh, doze off? No. Those pillow marks say different. Yeah, yeah. You got me. 
Not Vincent. Anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. Uh. And I got us tickets. Great, Loveless. Sure. After that, we could ride the sky wheel. Yes. Right. We missed out on that before. Yes. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go. Oh! Great, Loveless, though. Let's go, Tifa! We gotta go see Loveless. Loveless, do you think Vince will be there? Sorry, I'm stupid. I don't know where the elevator is. <laughs> so that's the second time I missed the elevator on a date with her. Vincent's playing the lead. God. Okay, that'll make me like Loveless. Turn that corner every time. It never looks like an elevator at first. I feel like I have to go down some stairs. See you again soon. See you again soon. Okay, but is Vincent here? Would he like to join us? Tifa, you don't mind a third wheel, do you? Because that would be you. Hey, yo. Vincent? Oh my god, we went on a date and he was looking around for other men. Don't start, Polly. Oh, I forgot about that little theme that plays. Something about the morrow. I don't know, something, something. Loveless. Gift of the goddess. So, we're going. We're going to Loveless. That was an event. Yes, event square. A. Rebel Ryan, thank you for the prime sub. Every square is yours to enjoy. Day, you don't want to spoil the Tifa day? Alright, it sounds good. Hope you enjoy it when you get to it. Oh my god, oh my god. Tifa. Tifa, we're gonna have the best day. <laughs> Look, it was all Tifa until we got Vincent, and now I'm all Vincent. It's okay. Cloud's still Tifa. Cloud's like, who's this weirdo? The theater. The it was awkward, was it really? Are you here to see Loveless? Are you here to see Loveless? I mean, I guess so. You got red as your day old. Whoa. They're all here! Well, I don't think Vincent is, but... <laughs> Sid is? I didn't, I didn't see Vincent. What's wrong, Aerith? Aerith? Congratulations. Does she enter as make em bloom? Would you like to sing it? Me? Oh. I guess that explains why she sings it. He's dancing. Does Aerith still sing even if you stay with her? It's probably Genesis singing. <laughs> Genesis wishes that was him. Hey, Jesse.
I don't even know what love this is about. I don't know what's going on. Like I've heard the play like a billion times because Genesis didn't stop talking about it. But I just tune him out. Oh, that's so pretty. Time for my headset to die. It's a really nice backdrop. I wouldn't mind seeing like a VR play like this for a backdrop like that. Okay, I found it. Wow, how did you just sing Jesse again? Aw, oh, <laughs> Barrett's crying. I've never seen her look more beautiful. Aww. Yeah, she's a real star. Is that a smile? She's smiling. Today's performance takes audience participation to the next level. Oh my god. Oh, a mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more. Looks so powerful. good. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfre was the traveler's name. In search Alfie. of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Oh, choose your path. Test your might tutorial. Yo, it's an interactive play. Yo, oh, what? Do I need a tutorial? Yo, cloud in a blue cave. Hi, hey, Dimitri. His play voice. Is it just the QT dance stuff again? Does it matter when I hit it? I was waiting for the ring to go in. You know, Final Fantasy IX has a play where you gotta do QTs. Just another thing they took from Final Fantasy IX. The one in nine is way cooler. Ah, oh, I missed it! Press X again. Oh yeah, so it's actually in, like, relation to... to... Proceed or not to proceed. <laughs> I love his play voice so much, it's so good. <laughs> 
Yeah, 101 nobles are impressed. Uh, the Queen Braun was not impressed, that bitch. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Well, release me. My blade thirsts for vengeance. <gasps> Fear not, Alfred. I've come. Oh, it's for you. Rosa. She gets to be Rosa. Rosa, how did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. She looks so pretty like that. Yeah, clapping a bad actor is great. <laughs> Look at red. Oh my god. Pray take not another step. <laughs> gentle princess. Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my place. Like my opponent? I was like red or fair. fair. <laughs> this is what, way harder. I'm ready. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon roar. Yeah, this is such a cheesy play. Yo, fucking mega buster. No. <laughs> oh, did you just get zannied? I only got three. I got three goods. Sorry, I'm covering part of it. I aced it. Can't prove that I didn't. Bravo! What a splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. Choose what to divine? My future with Rosa, right? Sorry, Red. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. I love that red there. Yet, catch is narrating it. To begin with a chance encounter, share the same end. A tearful farewell. Oh no! Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. We gotta fight him anyway. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Everyone's <laughs> everyone's a bad actor except for, or everyone's a good actor except for Cloud. He's so cool. Even for mods to make this as default.
see the fight, but I'm too busy. Like, all these Yakuza screens. But the camera work is so sick, and I can't even see the fight because the QTs. Ah, every time. Nice. You did it, Cloud. That was 24 greats and two goods. Hi, Kurgas. A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship. Enough to prove his heroism. First time you saw it. Well, been I'm gonna have to imprisoned. go back to my bot or to watch my own bot. Nevertheless, I bet it looks really cool. To press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado, friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! <laughs> what was that? Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. I really love the camera work of all this. It's done so well. <gasps> Rosa! She was my beloved. If I freaking picked red, I'd be put on a list. My love. Oh! <gasps> Alfred. <laughs> Aww. Oh, I knew it. Love Damn it, Barbados! Girl! Let my blade strike true! I'm QTEing for two now. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I meant to do that. Cloud, you're killing it. No! He just oh no, red using Stardust, Ray. We're so screwed. What does this mean? Just hit them all. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. Get a Rosa. You will not be Stardust raying me. You're killing it. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> I think I got one bad. Final result S. Still got the S rank. Bereft of wings and Bereft. Broken, I consign you to the abyss. Yep. Bit. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. You are a true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Just casually being play Sephiroth. Alfred. Look. 
Cool. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. So dramatic. It's pretty cheesy. It's the perfect play. Thank you, Fredsters, of 41 months. Ooh, what a pretty shot. This game. This game's cinematography. Look, Cloud being a bad actor is perfect. That crown was making me nervous. Oh yeah, let's clap. Okay. But it's not over yet. Hey, Aerith. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Old man Sid, wake up! Until I met you, Vincent! <laughs> He's actually at the play! I won't say it was fate, Vincent. Oh my god, it's me singing to Vincent. It was meant to be. Sid, wake up! definitely know who she wrote the song about. Oh my god. This is so sweet. That woman's voice is nuts. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Oh my god. <laughs> and then and the next is me and Vincent, right? Chadley, get out of here! I think he heard me. <laughs> Whoa! Vincent's out there holding both their hands. <laughs> Not if I get there first. Oh, Aerith, me too. <laughs> and I'm seeing Avalanche yet, too. <laughs> Oh, 
Go on. <sighs> oh, she meets Zach again, too. Yay, my relationship with everyone's better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Yuffie, not Vincent. <gasps> Hi, I love you. He's just sleeping, so why do you? He's just sleeping half the time. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, Susie. I'm sure Vincent enjoyed the play very much. What's up? There's like one guy yelling more. Aww. Aerith deserves this moment. Because judging from what Marlene said, it's not. Things aren't gonna be looking so bright. I don't even understand how this works. It doesn't matter. What matters is that that scene was really pretty. So anyway, do you see Vincent sleeping wow, for half of it? That was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Aww. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? Well, yeah, nothing's gonna Thank stop me. This is gonna Lovelace. stop me from going on a sky you wheel with her. You perfected Loveless. Like Damn, I'm and friends with somebody perfected Loveless. That foreshadowing for part three song. That's definitely Era singing about sex, and I'm all for it. Whoa! It's the mission it's the mission. It's called Private Moment. Alright, the sky wheel. Oh my god. I mean it is in a sky wheel. They keep saying how it's private, but like, yo? Oh my yo, hey Vincent! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this threw me off. I thought this was more floor. <laughs> and I look over and I see it's a wall. <laughs> I'm like, am I walking forward? <laughs> Where is this sky wheel? <laughs> my my sight's a little blurry because of the tears. I can't stop smiling. Uh, it's the turn. It's the tunnel hole all over again. Uh. Aerith, Tifa isn't the date, then Aerith becomes Rosa. Is, who- are, are you telling me this Barrett become Rosa? So you picked like Barrett as your beloved during that scene? Can I pick- can I pick Vincent? Like there's the three on the stage, but then I decide to break the fourth wall and point out into the audience and be like, that guy in the red! He better be an option part three. I'm gonna lose it. They just ride as he show up and adjust. Probably just the women. <laughs> no floor, only wall. Can you see the moment that I realize it's a wall? Oh my god. Private moment. So was Chadley here? Does he want to ride the sky wheel? Alright, Tifa, get in. Oh my god. Oh my god. How private we talking? Because we're like in the sky. You ready for this? A gondola's here. All right, all right, you two. I'm taking tips. Well, after you. You first. Uh, Cloud. Oh, was it moving? Oh my god! Already, guys, come on. You just started. Oh 
Come sit next to her, you fool. Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes. The... Not this game. <laughs> oh, she tried to dodge it. Well, nice save. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, they're sitting next to each other now. Oh. God, this would be not a very private moment. I feel like I'm constantly getting interrupted by Why holograms. Looks so fun. This place sucks. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, Joe just murdered a guy and it's supposed to be romantic. Oh, don't bring those fireworks, that'd make it all better. It's beautiful. He's gonna be looking at her. Okay. Oh, now he is. Oh. Oh. He's definitely side glancing. Wow, it's something so awkward. So, have you talked to Aerith? Hmm? Hey, um, Aerith. I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zach. Mm. How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. <gasps> Liar! Right. I mean, probably for the best, but, but still. Liar. She must still have feelings for Zach. I... I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey. Ever since we were kids, even. I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. God, if you don't kiss her. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again. He reached out to her. <sighs> Not one bit. <gasps> <laughs> Cloud is so smooth. Where where's this been this whole time, Cloud? Okay, we got a hug. <laughs> Our boy did it! <laughs> Our boy did it! So the sun is so cute! Oh my god, he's not- he's not hopeless after all! Oh my god. Cloud! <laughs> You're- no, now they're both awkward! No, that was the cutest fucking thing! <laughs> we should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. 
Catchy and Yuffie can't eavesdrop on that. Not one bit. Dude, that was so smooth. Yeah, my relationship with Tifa has changed. He did the thing! Head back to the same room. No, they're gonna act like that never happened. Hold on, pause, because I don't care what the next scene is right now. At first it was like the hug, and I'm like, come on, Cloud. And then, and then the hand on the shoulder, I'm like, maybe he's not dumb. Oh, and then the lean. My, oh my, that was so, that was perfect. That was so perfect. Fuck the next scene and the game there. I, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> They're setting up so bad for part three. I cannot, that's so, that's so good. I can't, I'm generally kind of shocked that they allowed the kiss though. Not like, I mean, I'm definitely, like Cloud and Tifa are always like, you know, the ship for me if we're talking that, but yeah, end of the game and they lived happily ever after. But I feel like they would have wanted to lean into like the ambiguity with the ambiguity until unless you know the air stuff's figured out without spoiling stuff too much but uh <laughs> Aerith fans gonna be so mad about this i mean i don't know why like Aerith has zach it's always been cloud and tifa and Aerith zach like if you talk talk about like romantically like that but they all have like deep meaningful relationships with more than one people so is Tifa and Cloud the only one that kiss then? Because I can't imagine, like, with as much as they're, like, building up Aerith and Zack reuniting, I highly doubt they kiss. Yep, so, oh my god, we, okay, I figured. Yeah, after that, like, I, I doubt, Cloud and Tifa definitely have a unique kind of chemistry that it wouldn't make sense if Cloud just kisses everyone he's on a date with. Yuffie kisses his cheek. Oh, that's cute that they kept that. And remake Aerith warn Cloud not to fall in love with her. I do remember that. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> I want to see them all, so I don't. I don't really want to know more about the details of any date because I'll see them all. But eventually. Oh yeah, how are they gonna progress? Around? Our relationships change. <laughs> because I want to get the dates myself. See them all on stream. I mean, I'll probably, probably will. We'll see. All right, what's what's coming next? These Turks. Yep. Back to the Turks. No Reno. Know anything about this promised land? But I do now. It's seriously wow. Find of the century. Wow, Elena. You never know. That intel can be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. Yeah, the knights spent together to under the high wind. The Maybe they'll have a secret room in the high wind. If the ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. <laughs> I'm sitting so proper. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? Yeah, let her go. I have an idea. God, all, the, all these Turks are so weird. <laughs> Rude's like, God, this Rito. Oh, yeah, it's the Coliseum time. All right. Let's bring this one home. Let's bring this one home, boys. You can set the date. Cool, okay, so next playthrough I can watch them all. Oh. The battle party would consist of Cloud, his date of the previous night, and one member of your choosing. Once you and your teammates are prepared for the upcoming match to speak with the reception staff. Well, I do believe. For a DOT shirt? We got you covered. Should I start? Cloud wouldn't. Oh my god, why is it so dark in here? Eric, get out of here. Oops. Let's 
Couple of crazy kids and their dog. I'm still hype over Cloud's kiss. I know, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> that was so freaking sweet. I love... I gotta go... I, I can't, I can't do this right now. <laughs> I can't mentally go through materia and stuff for a battle. Not one bit. I thought Cloud was gonna fumble that so hard. Cause like, Tifa has been the one reaching out most of the time, and then Cloud comes in with the ultimate Riz line of not one bit, and then kisses her. Kisses her. This guy. This freaking dork over here. He does what everyone wants to- he kissed Tifa. Everybody wants to kiss Tifa, and this guy gets to do it? Like, he almost kisses the girl and she asks, <laughs> she still asks if he's okay, like, every two seconds. I know! God, they're the best. What's the line in Japanese? Tonight the Goober King is a champion. He's like, he doesn't even have to- okay, wait, I was gonna say he doesn't have to win the Coliseum because he's already, like, over the moon excited about other things. But this isn't- really about him. It's also about Dio, so you can't fuck this up. Tifa says something about her emotions being overwhelming. Cloud's response is to hold on tight to him. Oh, like he could be her rock. Like to ground her. Oh, that's actually so romantic. Oh. He already won at life. The costume doesn't matter. Yeah, like freaking gold saucer being in Don Corneo's hands. Shinra Wutai War? Whatever, I kissed Tifa. I got to do- Cloud got to do something everyone wants to do. I don't even care about my materia right now. I kissed Tifa. I'm looking at, like, lightning material. I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Prayer, uh huh. Cloud. Okay, Aerith has that. Where's I kiss Tifa materia? <laughs> Very good question. Why didn't I get it? Where's my souvenir for my Tifa date? Tifa kissed you. Mmm. I, I can't. I can't confidently say that. Cloud. Cloud did it. He did it because we couldn't. He did it for us. Thank you, Cloud. Now can you <laughs> kiss Vincent next, please? <laughs> Can't wait to see their dates. Oh, New Game Plus is gonna be so fun. What am I doing? FIFA kisses the end, end game. Yeah, we're just playing... We're playing a... This is post-game epilogue right now. No, she wouldn't kiss me. It's okay. I'm just looking at Materia. Oh, let's add poison. And I do want to add some magic to them just in case. Here, we can get rid of that. Or we can give it to. Oh my god, we can give it to Tifa. God, it's just. You think? What if he wasn't a good kisser and she's like tells Aerith about it later? Yo, do you think Aerith knows? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what my materia setup is. I'm sure it's fine. Wait, does this weapon suck? I still haven't really used my new ability, but is Buster Sword better? Magic attack it is. Fine. Ready to kiss? Like, what's gonna happen in part three? <laughs> well... <laughs> hey! Does, oh, does that mean Vincent's here? Hi, Tifa. Oh, because Aerith said she wanted to join. She's like, I'll join, but she couldn't. Okay, here's my other group of friends. Here's Barrett. Oh, I was hoping Sid and Vincent would be with him. Team... Team old men. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I, my adrenaline's, like, way too... I do kind of... I, I did kind of 
consider ending stream and going into bed because I've been streaming for like like 12 hours but like I, I can't that date my adrenaline's way too high right now I can't do it they gossiping Best of luck to you in the arena. Tifa's telling everything to Aerith and Aerith is genuinely impressed she's like no no Sid's actually here! That makes me so happy that they're actually part of cutscenes, like, even though they're not in the party yet. Like, Sid's in all the cutscenes. Being funny. Or asleep, yeah. <laughs> Vincent's, like, asleep most of them. Sid is perfect. Ah, oh, Corneo! Fuck off. When Vince shows up to the party. Like in the Bronco. <laughs> Fuck, oh my god, I freaking screamed I cried when Gallant Beast shows up as a boss fight. I had no idea. Go, Greg. They're pretty bad. They're very Corneo. So tacky. <laughs> we starting. Ooh, I love that transition. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Very important. Is Sid in the crowd? I don't think Vincent's here, but what if we could see Sid? We saw him in the cutscene. He's here somewhere. Sid! Oh my god, are we gonna have to hear the song this whole time? Since he was sitting next to him. Was he? Was he asleep? Huh. Yeah, it's like I don't know if they're gonna be here. Maybe like more cutscenes. I think he was awake when he's doing it. Just it's hard to tell with him, I understand. <laughs> Asleep, uninterested, it looks the same to him. Just focus on the ones in front of I'll have to go back and see. Sid kind of distracted me there. Sid's already so funny. <laughs> So long. So long. Oh, burns. I keep meaning to set disorder to something. This is so good. Okay, I you guys are still not dead. Leave Tifa alone. No more playing nice. No more playing nice, he said. Where are the other flamethrower dudes? Bitch. Oh, 
Oh my god, Cloud and FIFA. We get you FIFA standing to play. <laughs> that spinny attack. That's just him holding it. That's holding it. Next. Oh yeah, Aerith there. Uh, they still talking. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, that was a pick done for Neo. Gross. I wish that one had like more like jiggle physics. Oh my god, I can't even target. Where are they? Holy shit, they're fast. I don't even know how to actually fight them. I just I just do this. And hope for the best. Cacneo! Or Cacneo! <laughs> what a name! Ooh, he tried a thousand needle me. Yes! So avid children. <laughs> Look at my kitty and my doggy. Oh. I'm just getting started. Aww. Seeing the Carneo, the Cacneo follow him. Oh god. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm glad that they're actually in the cutscenes fighting. Oh, nice catch. Two on his head. I'm gonna, okay, I was kind of trying to be like, maybe I can prime mode it, but hold on, cloud. He's busy. Oh, thank God they stopped talking for a little bit. I started to hear the music. Wait, they get they counterattack when they have range attack. Well, this magic count is a okay. Oh shit! Oh, 
Fuck, I, I can't tell sometimes if it's like Yuki's attack or if it's... Can I help that? No! God damn it! Do they not stop? So much shit on Cloud. All right, Cloud, this isn't looking good. I think I think Corneo is gonna win the Gold Saucer, and it's all our fault. Maybe we had some, didn't have such a hot date last night. Oh, I dodged his Chef's knife from really far away. God damn it! There's sport. Wait. Oh, let's see if you're over there. Here it comes. You feel that? Cloud is landing some real party shakers today. This fight is nice. I knew the Donberry was one to hold a grudge. The Donberry. Can I like just high frame your bullshit? I know I should have waited, but here, hear me out. Never mind. No! Fuck! I thought he was gonna. I didn't think he was gonna go again so fast. Woo, that was close. <laughs> I do not like how that how that went. Still got Corneo to go. Right. But like my HP's at like zero, so I may as well be dead. Look, he's got his Abzul again. Whatever his name is. Ew. This again? Hey, I want to date with her. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> Vincent, oh, I saw him. He's, he seems a little interested. He's like, here, hold up. But I'm at like zero HP.
I just really need to heal Yuffie and then... Not retrieve. Song. No, I use I'm using Surgery right when oh okay. Nice, I also put fire on her. Perfect. <laughs> He's like miserable. Alright, Cloud. No, you don't have. Oh! This song. <laughs> Does anyone have... No one has their limit yet. Beast two. So is this this is when he it says over here when their HP falls below half they'll begin evading fire. But does that include Yuffie's attack? I don't think so. Because it's really not like a fire spell. Corneo will douse any flames, they will crash in the wall. Pressure them. Just like that, now he gets pressured. What a fool. Here, let's see. Oh god. Hang back. And summon Alexander. Hmm, I should summon. Oh fuck! Well, no one. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, I can res. Okay. I assumed I couldn't res here. Duty calls, Alex. Time to stomp on this deplorable human being. I don't even know what that word means. Bad, right? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is that what makes him pressure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to rip it off. See, Tifa's. Uh -oh. Can Tifa heal? Let's see if it's still. Absolutely. 
Yeah, he's still weak to it. It's not considered a spell. Because I don't know if we can pressure him with regular attack. Because, like, I think you can only pressure him when he hits the wall. Because, like, the pressure meter is going down real slow now. Alright, cool. Oh, Tifa! Braver for the win. Hey. Hey you, I'm hyped up. I just had the best night of my life. We cutting him off? <laughs> we cutting him off. Oh. Or should we rip them I wanna know what Yuffie's gonna say. Oh no. You're all so mean. So, so mean. Picking on a poor small business owner. Yeah. I'll just kill him. But hell, I can take it and I can give as good as I get. So, all of you can. Kiss my ass. Yeah. What, Abzu round two? I hold my suicide. Bye. It seemed like he had an idea, but I guess he just saw that Abzu wasn't dead, so he's he's just like, oh, Abzu can get up and we can run away. I thought he had, like, something planned. Anyway, we'll see you in Wutai, I guess. Nice work, everyone. He knows how to high five, too. Cloud is on top of the world right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, they're lingering. Anyway, we saved your Coliseum, man. My heart, I know. Do you think Vincent saw me be cool? Vincent, did you see me dodge and then pressure that guy? And we'll take it now, thank you. As you wish. I will not deny you what is yours by right. Behold, your prize. What now? What was that? Is that Lena? Oh, you bitch! Oh, you freaking Turks! She's fast. She really is just female Reno. <laughs> and being here is kind of funny. Property. Cut the bullshit. Red. No. Huh? Well, that's not suspicious at all. What the hell's going on? He just took off. All this right. is just like Yuffie, Nanaki, with me. Wait. You when does he start calling him Nanaki? They, we haven't had that conversation. Let's get a move on. Look at them already being best buds in the in the 
seats together. I have to get to fight him again. A grudge match then, over which I must insist you allow me to officiate. Yo, are we having little potions set up? To ensure a fair and entertaining bout, <laughs> we'll give you a chance How to kind. rest before the festivities. Once you're ready, you need but say the word. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh, you mean to eight time? You mean to tell me this could have been like Reno standing there, and I'd be like, "Oh my God, it's Reno!" Wait. Vincent, come back! <laughs> That's- I- I already love that Vincent and Sid are, like, always palling around each other. I don't know. It makes me- it, it, it makes me- cause, like, it makes me happy that they're, like, building up their own, like, off-screen friendship that we'll never know about. We'll never know about how, like, the Sid- Sid- the, the stuff Sid and Vincent talk about. They're probably gossiping about, like, freaking Sid probably already knows about Lucrezia, and we don't. They spent the night together. They did. In the original, Vincent asks Sid to go to bed, or he tells him. How dare. Yeah, I know he's Leon. Uh, anyway. Could have been Reno. Thanks, Jeeve. Ba -na -na. I'm disappointing in a rest bench that costs five GP to use me for a st Oh yeah, 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 I forgot. It's freaking cost money to do anything in Gold Saucer in the original. Yeah, it's like what like it would have been funny as a reference, because they give you the gold the gold pass in, in the beginning of this game, so it's like you don't have to grind for it like you do in the OG. But it would be nice if there was like some sort of reference and they're just like, ha, ah, just kidding. Just tell you about Shalua's outfit. <laughs> well she they haven't met Shalua yet. Shalua is a sequel character. But maybe, maybe this is Vincent from the future and he's just like, Sid, I gotta tell you about some character we're gonna meet a few years from now. He's not a loner as long as he has Sid. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna kick your ass, Turks. Can I talk to him? You think you could hurry it up? You should have run. Where's Reno? Alright, I'm ready. Are you ready to duke it out? Fight the Turk. This is so funny. I really like the setup. Like even the Turks are being good sports, just waiting. Oh yeah, who? She doesn't exist in this time. Shahu? Singing the church theme. He's just like Yuffie. Oh, I guess I have Aerith. Uh oh, I'm kind of. Wait, did they auto take Yuffie out? Uh oh, <laughs> Aerith doesn't really have anything. <laughs> oh, she's shooting at me, help, rude. I hear about the kiss is really pissed. Oh, yeah, he's going right for Cloud. The bald one and I. Is that cool countering? I'm gonna take out Elena first. If she... He keeps walking. Elena Knuckle. Oh, 
first screen was so funny. Well, thank God I do have stuff on her. Look, Rude's actually trying to hurt Tifa. Are they? You good? Are they making him not into her anymore? Wait, Aerith. I didn't know that attack was gonna get you here. That one laser attack she has. That's a barrier. What the hell? <laughs> I do really like Elena, she's funny. Brave Judgment? That's what I thought. That's what I thought it was. I guess I don't have it. I Uh oh. Ooh, the back to back. Back off. Well done. That was nothing. She's got grenades now. Oh, this ought to be good. The tension so thick you could cut it with a knife. The touch of planning something. I don't know what this is. Could have been Reno. Oh, okay. So if you stun them out of it. Oh my god, they killed them all! That was quick. Goodness me. I I knew it was gonna be an AoE. I didn't think it was gonna be the whole screen. <laughs> I know I don't have Star Shower. I know where Star Shower is. I thought I had Ray of Judgment. Is that on a different weapon that I was learning? Oh yeah, what weapon? That's technically better. Do -do -do. Turks win. Star Shower, where's where's the Ray of Judgment weapon? Yeah, they just nuked Arena. Good, oh, good thing Sid and Vincent got out of there. They can be our living legacy. They made a move now. Oh, yes. So I was gonna say I've definitely seen her AI use Ray of Judgment. What's her what's her move then? It's a combo. It's like hold. No, because. I know, like these, these like hidden combos. I don't know. Um, maybe it's like temp, like attached to Tempest. Because I've definitely, like I said, I've definitely seen her use it. So I know it exists. And I really need to get started after to this part, out. like. After this part, I'm definitely gonna go back to like Intel and side quest tell because now that we have Vincent, there's no rush. Um, and then I'm gonna have to get the Star Shower stuff. For the time Cloud and Tifa kiss, yes! And now I'm looking at this man. Fantastic! Then without further ado. Radiant Ward gives her basic attack laser blast. Okay, might be it. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Only one of these will leave with the peace of the 
We just had a date and now we're just ruining Elena's life. Using Elena Knuckle. Cloud, go after her. Yeah. when she does that and misses, at least she like recovers really well. Like she's not. Strengthens Aerith's basic attack. Yes, yes, this is what I was thinking of. Yeah, I definitely saw those things coming at me before. Can you take a lap for me? Oh my god, look at that health. As long as I hit one of them, they might interrupt their little plan. Oh, Cloud, if you if you live, I'll keep his life. Cloud! Can you get their ATB up? Rogue stands? Damn you! I see you get their ATB up! No! I feel like he does much damage to her. No, let me go, let me go. I just need to be up so I can heal. Oh my god. Oh wait. I can do another synergy. And then perhaps I'll have ATB I'll heal somebody. Oh they both got hit by it. Okay. okay I wish I had magnifying. You're not dead! Oh, there we go. <laughs> the way she had one HP and came running at me. It only to do like a quick dash. God. The guy's coming after me. All those spirit guys there. I pushed Aerith! Look, we recovered. Cloud, you might need to heal yourself. These two are in perfect sync. My body deal 
Summon Alexander again, why not? Duty calls. Vincent and Sid, peace out. I love, I love, I love fighting the Turks. They're so fun. On it. Yeah, you have to actually dodge and stuff. It's like I just really like fighting humanoid. And these at times, it's like, it's easier to read movements, I guess. Not to say I don't like fighting monsters, but, yeah. Here, Tifa, I'm gonna need you to get Shockwave. Oh, Aerith can use her limit to heal. My problem right now is definitely... What the is that supposed to mean? My turn. What, Elena? Hey, Alexander, I'm gonna need you to do your thing, but Tifa. Okay, there we go. Grand Laser. Grand Laser Elena. And then Aerith can heal. She, oh, she's good. She used Planet's Blessing on her. Why are you alive again? Damn it. I think Rude probably heals her. Like, if you don't kill them at the same time, they probably just heal each other. The times I have to teach you lesson, old man. Elena, you ready? No, not this again. It's on you. It's your turn. I got this. No more games. All right, Tifa, stop talking though. This fight isn't cheap, it's fun. You're not allowed to resurrect allies, it's my thing. No. Well, she's out again. <laughs> Seriously, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson? How do you even... Oh, he's ready to win? Yeah, and pressuring... Wait, what does it say? Interrupting his synergy strikes while also pressure him? Yeah, I figured that. I figured a lot of the hints are like damage them to pressure them. It's just like, yeah. What am I gonna, gonna do? Stand there? Tifa's lining them up. We can do the Aerith one. Cloud can go do. Yeah, oh, this is a Judgment Cut End one. I forgot. This is the best. Tifa's straight up Virgil. No, not Stalbert Sands! Stagger him! Mm, I think there's enough time for disorder. Oh. Dive kick for the win! Dive kick for the win! Yes! Dive kick for the win! <laughs> Use attacks to lower HP. Do not heal them. Yeah. Where's Reno? Reno? <laughs> Imagine. Now what? To ensure a fitting climax for this spectacle, we've invited us. Is it Hell House? Fru is that Rufus? Now, oh, that's what? <laughs> Whatever, Rufus. The freaking president. Nice entrance. Was he gonna have two Hell Houses with him? Whatever. Oh god. He's sung in his dog right here. Mr. President, what are you doing here? 
You're still a Shinra employee. At least on paper. No. <laughs> and as your boss, I figured I'd dispose of you personally. Was that meant to be a joke? <laughs> you two go. Wait with son. No, I don't want to 1v1 him. Time. <gasps> Let's see. Shall we? Got my number this time. He's going to do the same dumb shit he does in the first game. Yeah, I don't think this doesn't seem right. Killing your own employees. Oh, Braver didn't get him. You got, you learned new, new tech? I don't know what his new tech is. Other than, I guess, oh, oh, Braver when you reload. That's what it was. I'm shooting. I can't even. That game you get close to him. Did you reload? Yeah, I can't because if I recover when he's reloading. I guess I can try to block, I guess. Is Ricochet? Okay, I just do too slow. Reload already! Yes! Okay, I get it. At least it's the same fight. I can do it. It just seems it does seem harder. <sighs> Rufus doesn't just kill Sephiroth himself. It's true, it's a little bitch. He needs us to do it. We're back. Yeah, Braver auto staggers, but it's like, I feel like it's just beggars can't be choosers, but hit this little snake. I just need to fill the ATB. I don't. <laughs> Is it wrong to love Lucas? Nah, man. Like who you like? He's pretty cool. I just—he's definitely—he's a nepo baby, and I'll never let him live it down. He needs to reload. Of course he doesn't need to reload. Okay, I don't know if I'll have enough time to use Finian. <laughs> Countered it. <laughs> I really wish I could try it with Braver, but it's just it's just so hard to time it. No, god damn it! Dodge and attack, dodge attack. Sometimes dodges and register. Oh, 
I'm so lucky he also ran away from me. Oops. I'm gonna use regen on Cloud. Regen is pretty good in remake. I assume it's also good here. You're pressured. What do you mean you're blocking? Plastic Nepo, baby. No! Whoa! He went right where I was going. Give me two full full bars. I know I hate when like you just get like a little bit too close to him and he's just like counter. really need to level up my UTB so I can heal. <laughs> no! Heal, you fool! Oh my god, I couldn't heal. He took my fucking ATB with him. God, you're such a classic rich kid shit here. I can I just like cross session like without? Alright, if I could just be really careful, not like that. Play really careful, everything will be fine. Oh, wait, he seems busy. Maybe I can get away with it. Yes, I got poison though. That's even worse. Yay! Such a dick. I have chakra though. I should poison him. I think he's susceptible to poison. I'm not even gonna bother assessing him. I mean, I probably should. Regen. Regen's pretty good. See, that's the thing, like, you need so much AT. You need to, like, fucking manage your ATP so. so, uh. strategically. Because, like. Oh. Because, like, I would love to use my ATB for regen and bio and all this shit, but, like. I just got his dog here. You don't feed. Really though. It's past time. Really though. What if I cross slash dark star? Okay, can I heal? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Let me heal! I knew if I tried to run away, I wouldn't have time to heal. I knew that if I stood there, I'd be like, he might hit me, but I might have time to heal. It was like a lose-lose no matter what. I don't want to use an X potion. It was a microsec away from registering. I know, like, he did the animation. I was like... It was like a 50-50 chance for it to go wrong. All right, full bar. Watch this, are you ready? I have a plan now. Okay, dumbass got pressure. I'm gonna assess him. He's immune to poison. Okay, good thing we tried. Or check. My new gift to myself. Scary. See, it's a gift to yourself because nobody else will give you anything because you're insufferable in your life. That is pretty sad. He's lonely. Or maybe if he wasn't such an asshole, he wouldn't be lonely.
I didn't. You touched me. me like it's just like one stray bullet is tripping me damn it i knew i i was like predicting i'm like he's probably gonna reload but he didn't it's like whatever i think he's gonna do he doesn't do it but instead he just shoots my ankle and then i trip He does like not to order. Anger music is back. I don't know, I don't really mind. It's. I like fighting Rubez. It's just. I feel like waiting for my ATB. Like, if you do this, like, super optimally, like, your pressured attack can bring back. It's just that his freaking, like, classic, like, input reading feeling, where it's like everything you do, he. Can react to perfectly. It's like you don't, you can't, you can't be too close, or he's gonna counter. You can't be too close for long. It's all very gimmicky. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's fun. It's just annoying. When he's like, oh, I, I pushed you away. Perfect time for me to freaking reload if so you can't get to me in time. It's like, you're not slick, Rufus. You know you were programmed to info read. Nepo baby. <laughs> Damn it. Reload. Yes! Don't! No! God, you reload. If it was like a freaking frame longer, it wouldn't be such shit. Get ready. 
What are you weak to? Nothing? Sounds about right. Should I summon? Look, if you're gonna bring in your dog, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready to summon Alexander. I'm gonna wait for Darkstar to come in. If you're gonna summon your dog, I'm gonna summon mine. Yeah, every- that's the thing, every attack knocks you down, and like, the emi- The length it takes for you to like, recover is exactly how long it takes to reload. Yeah, whatever it is, you're not gonna be saying that when you see my dog. Like he's already getting stomped on him. Whoa! Dark Star, what the hell is that? I love being in the air. He is a dog to hit me. Right, divide judgment, their ass. <clears throat> Stupid sexy music. Did I get his dog? I don't know about you folks, See you soon. Hey! Okay. Stop it! I'm pretty sure Rufus. <laughs> Get double cross slash. Because I know I aim for Dark Star, but Rufus is right, right behind him. <laughs> oh, money solves my problems. I'm rich. Why? You didn't even pay for good enough fog, so we saw you walk away. Dumbass. <laughs> so, are we gonna go after him? Not yet. <laughs> Dude can't even buy enough fog or smoke, whatever you try to use. Anyway, bye Rufus. Yeah, and Yuffie's like embarrassed. No, I really like Rufus. I just like making fun of him more because making fun of rich people is funny. It was just flower. For the others too? After Kate, okay? No, same as you. Cross slash? The double dark star Rufus cross slash? Crawl slash? Stamp plushies right here! Get them before they're gone! Alright, well, we know what's coming, right? The others have the outside cover. Let's search in here. Oh, it's Ketchy's music. He's prob- There he is! He t it took that long for him to run there. I've been in a Rufus fight for like a half hour. Stamp plushies right here! I, oh, I saw him. I was gonna say, I bet he's blending with the plushies, like Chucky. No, cat. Mansion segment. I, I kind of liked it. That part was like, that that part was like a skill skill check to make sure you know how to play as Catchy, and if you didn't, you're gonna have a really bad time. But I had fun. I like playing as him. He's not even using the- get out of my way. He's not even using the, the floor. Moogle Knuckle for the win. Over there. 
Wow, I sure wonder what my cat that I that I don't even know that I super trusted randomly. I sure hope he doesn't do anything bad. Let's find him again. I warned you, Cloud. I warned you not to trust him. Now he stole your keystone. Hey, Graz, six to twenty gift subs. You're that Rufus? I have 20 gift subs. You have a shitty fog machine. <laughs> who's... Who's living life now? Is that him? I, no. Damn it, they got me. I got fooled. That's how I'm fighting the Terex and Rufus. The cat only made it to the lobby. I know, I don't understand. Where the hell is he? He's supposed to be here somewhere. Right? He's definitely hiding. He's probably sees me running past and left like back and forth, just laughing at me. What if I just leave? Can I just leave? Like, will that trigger a cutscene? Like ten minutes to find him here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just gonna. <laughs> He's probably blending in really well, right? He's definitely laughing his ass off. Nice one. Thank you. Yeah, it was really fun. I don't know. I. Fights like that are, they're annoying sometimes when it's like you feel, you feel like you can't do something, but I, fights like that end up feeling like, oh, <gasps> I'm going to talk to him. Hi, Vincent. No sign of a cat. Yeah, but I'd si Oh, Vincent was my key. Anyway, fights like that end up feeling like a puzzle. Oh, I wonder which one it is. He was the one. <laughs> Vincent, no, we embarrassed ourselves in front of Vincent. He was the one. He was the one laughing. Vincent, thank you for the assist. Look, he's already part of the party. No sign of the cat. Go, Vincent. He's here. What does he say now? No, I can't talk to him again. This game sucks. Oh, Sid! Oh, I thought that was Sid. <laughs> Not Sid. It's my freaking freaking wish.com, Sid. <laughs> Sorry, I've been streaming for a long time, and I'm tired. Not too tired to chase this dumb traitorous cat, though. What's he doing? <laughs> if you're wearing a white shirt with the blue, look at all these people. Look at Sid. Oh, his white shirt, blue jackets. I just thought he was like. I saw Vincent. I assumed Sid would be next to him. Oh man, I I super love catching Sid though. What are we doing here? Ooh, for Yuffie. Banishment. Oh, yes! I- okay, Banishment- this attack is so broken in Intermission, which is Yuffie's intro DLC. It was so broken, I legit thought they completely took it out of the game because it was so strong. And here it is, it's just really late. I mean, they might- they might nerf it. I don't know. But it's so freaking strong in her DLC. Oh, well, well, well. Well, look at Rufus in the back. <gasps> Got it. You traitor. Be safe. You too. Exactly what how was it looks. I thinking? Trust in you. Yes. The company man with a heart of gold. Huh. What a joke. Barrett, no, please. Screw it. Piece of shit ain't worth the bullets anyway. What bullets? I don't understand. Why? Because he's an asshole. 
One we should have never trusted in the first place. Don't. He deserves it. Oh. Even Cloud when his feelings get hurt? Oh, Damn. Knew from the start that had to end this way, but it still stings. I mean, for a moment there, it felt like we were friends. No, you don't get to say that and make us feel bad. Oh, Ketchy's equipment's returned to you. That's awfully nice of him. You don't get to say that and make us feel bad for you betraying. I'm so pissed at Kate right now. Probably laughing at us from his new office. How are you not mad? He played us for fools from the start. Just thinking about it makes me want to beat the crap out of him. Hey, are you okay? I'll be fine. Just thought I was a better judge of character. Forget him. So what's the plan then? We are not just gonna let him take the black materia, right? We're gonna go after him, right? And how are we supposed to do that without any leads? He's got a point. The only one who knows where the temple is, is Kate Seth. <sighs> but he told the Turks, whose chopper I should be able to track. Really? I know which radio frequencies they use. The moment they get on Vincent being helpful in cutscenes. Well now, the old gal's got a transmitter. Ha, then we're in business. He's so right. cool. I'll run on ahead and get her warmed up for you. Later. I know him and Sid already having such big moments is amazing. Down. We follow Shinra to the temple. Oh my god, Vincent. Thanks, Vincent. The black materia will be ours. This sure sounds endgamey. Turn to the tiny Bronco. But Vincent! Chadley, not now! Cloud! No! Incoming transmission from Oh, I don't K care. Hey, hey. Israel, sorry for the wait. If you're still interested in collecting all those treasure pieces, then... You made me miss Vincent walking past me. It's Kid G, though. This is a horrible time. Where's Vincent? Did he leave? Is he already on the tiny Bronco? Great. Oh! Nanaki also has Max. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So... He still read the red 13 in the menu. I did we have that conversation where we're calling him Nanaki? Are stuff is things are things happening off screen? Like Sid and Vincent being really good friends and then Baron and Nanaki sharing names. Sid and Vincent are already pals for sure, and that makes me so excited. Even if it's like headcanon, like you using your imagination, they're spending a lot of time not here doing something else. Baron and Red going through the trial, so you just transition to it. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Probably is that. I hope we can have the conversation where we change it in the title in the menus, but Storyline Cosmo really got you. Yeah, I loved how they did it in, in the remake. But it was too it was kinda rushed compared to the OG. But I still really liked it, because I love him. I love his backstory. Cloud talking kind of weird. Yeah, I don't like him saying the black material will be ours, Cloud. I don't know. I don't know about that. He's slipping. He's slipping into Sephiroth a little bit too easily now. There's so much to talk about, and I'm mad at freaking Chadley interrupting with Kid G. Like that's this is the shit that I'm talking about. It's so annoying. Like you're going through all these cutscenes, all this story, and then the moment it ends, like you don't have time to process it. It's just Chadley calling and be like, "Here's your next goal, Cloud." It's just like, just give me a second, Chadley. It's just, it's like his timing. His timing sucks. Like, imagine... Imagine, like, you just got done eating, like, this really big, delicious dinner. Okay? And then, in instead of just, like, sitting there and, like, letting it settle, Chadley calls you and tells you to get up and freaking go find Kid G. And you have to go right now. <laughs> Doing a thing and Chadley told Maya she talks too much. I think I think I heard him say stuff like that. Like anything he says to Maya, I want to say to him. 
Anyway, this game is so cool. I cannot believe Ketchy betrayed us. I am so shocked. How did Ruf... <laughs> you know what? I was making fun of Rufus for using his freaking dollar store fog machine <laughs> when joke's on me because he made it to the helicopter in time. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten lost in the lobby. So that... That was cool. There's no Nanaki in the titles yet. Vincent is our way in. I'm so, so happy Sid and Vincent are just like, they're not only just like chilling in the story, like they're actually propelling it. Because like Sid has obviously the means of travel. They're already, they're already getting along. Like the way Sid's just like hitting and pushing Cloud and Baron and stuff. It's so fun. And, and Vincent being all like big brain, be like, oh, I'm Turk. So I should be able to hack in be like, Okay. I like the idea of that Vincent wasn't actually fully asleep for 30 years. Because that's how it always seemed with OG. Like, he's just did, no did nothing but sleep for 30 years, and now... Like, it seems like he's actually been doing stuff. I need more moments with Vincent. I don't know, Vincent... Oh my god. Like, this is how exciting it is just to see Sid and Vincent together in this game. I can't wait for when we get to part three. Got up every three months. Talking to himself from inside the co the coffin. I'm glad he can talk to us now. He's no longer telling himself that he can hack into Turk stations. We... We can... Do it together. Is that my next story? Aw, but... Return to Tiny Bronco to find out where the Turks are headed. I'm... Okay, I'm gonna go to the Tiny Bronco to see the cutscene, to like, trigger the cutscene. However, I'm not gonna proceed from there. Yeah, 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 this is where you stop in the story. I feel like this is a really good place to like, stop progressing and like, do a bunch of side stuff. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have to find the Tiny Bronco. Oh wait, I can just fast show. Cause it's over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just left here. Um, yeah, but yeah, I know there's a Vincent quest. I'll do that. I'll do like all the side stuff. I won't proceed. How much you have left of side stuff? I have to get 100% intel on a lot of places and do all the side quests after Nibelheim. Alright, we're going to heavy. Once I say I can't wait to see you do. Is it the chicken oh, one? <laughs> you, you people keep code. hyping up the chicken one. Is the side quest involving finding a, a swimsuit for Vincent? <gasps> oh my god, he's actually in the shade! Oh, you sit, you stand cool. No, I'm not skipping side stuff. Not anymore. Not anymore. Your cape keeps like deflecting. Oh, it's clipping. Oh my god. Look, do you see that clippage? Do you see that clippage? Unplayable. Acknowledge me, Vinny. I love you. Your eyes are so red. Do you think he knows I'm. Like, how do you, how do you think you got a cloud pretending he's not staring at him? Yeah, his shoes look great here. They're still like weird kind of pointy, but it's just like that, just the gauntlet stuff. He's so cool. No, don't- yeah, Alter, don't worry. You- you- you'll be able to like, stay ahead after this- at whatever this cutscene is, it's gonna be the last story scene I see for a bit, because I will be doing here- just- just as a recap first before- Okay, are you ready? Place that would be so sick. I can't wait. Do Galleon Beast? The fact that he's already has like moves. Oh my god. I can't wait to see Hellmasker. Hope he looks exactly the same. Okay, so Corral Region has one quest. Nebel has everything. Like, I haven't even. You can see at the bottom. I haven't even gotten intel for that place. Cosmo Canyon just has three quests. Everything else is Hondo. Bungaga is basically zero. I have to super Hondo it. And then Junon and Grasslands have one quest each. Oh yeah, because we got new quests on the board. 
And then I still have to fight Cameron and then do all the card battles in Junon. Quite the check ahead. Yep. But it's okay, because I have Vincent now. Yeah, in the ocean. Is that- Wait, Bok, did you see the One Piece mission? Well, you had to have. It's like you have to find the four Poneglyphs to find the captain's treasure. See you in two weeks. Now this will take me like a day. This will take me one stream. I next next stream we'll do it. Remember when I I predicted that Vincent that we weren't gonna see Vincent till Wednesday? Well, it's Tuesday and we saw him, so it's day early. 